Hello everyone, uh, I am Muhammad Al-Musrati. I am going to introduce um, the basics uh, of complex numbers. Actually, we needed this in our course of ICAT 3220, Modern Wireless Communication, where we talked about the Fourier transform of uh, time domain signals, and we saw some uh, related things to, to complex numbers. So it is good to know what is complex numbers are. So, um, to start this very, very, like, uh, introductory uh, form of uh, these complex numbers, we look to the numbers. So, this is the real numbers that we, we have, uh, uh, like, um, starting from here in the middle zero, and here we have positive numbers, like, for example, one, two, and also in between, or any numbers, actually, so either it was uh, rational or irrational numbers, so it goes to up to infinity, and here we have the negative side of numbers, okay? Up to minus infinity. Okay, now all numbers that we know are on this on this line. Okay, and um, uh, if we look to this number one or two, any any of those numbers, and we look that uh, what is the difference between this number two and minus two? Actually, it has been rotated one hundred eighty degrees. So if you take this two and you rotate it 180 degree it becomes minus 2 okay so it is it is like rotated with face of of uh, of by or 180 degree okay um, this equivalent to the multiplication of these two by minus 1 so 2 times minus 1 it gives us minus 2, which means that rotation of the real number 2 by 180 degree. Okay? Um, if we want to rotate this 2 with 90 degree, okay, or any other faces, you can see here in the real numbers, or in this line of numbers, it is not possible. Because it is, you have to be on this on this line, so either zero degree or hundred eighty degree or three hundred sixty degree again, which means that it it will be the same. To buy is the same point. Okay, because of that, now this is all the numbers that we know it will be here. So in order to find ninety degree, we need to create another dimension for the numbers. Okay, yeah. So now this one will be 90 degrees or by over 2. Uh, uh, yes, or by over 2. This will be by over 2. This is the same. Okay, now what is the number that we need to multiply into to, to, to be here? So let us call it alpha. Alpha times 2. It gives us 90 degree. And if you multiply it again with alpha, it will be minus 2. So here it means that this will be alpha square. Alpha square times 2, it will be minus 2. Okay? So what is this alpha? That if we multiply with 2, it will be rotated 90 degree. If you multiply again with alpha, it gives us minus 2. So it becomes like alpha squared times 2 equal to minus 2, which means that alpha squared equal to minus 1, and alpha should be square root of minus 1. Okay, now this square root of minus 1 is, is not one of the real number. It is not a real number. Square root of minus 1, you will not find it here in this, in this line of, of, of numbers. It is not there. Okay, it is in other dimension here and we call this as as imaginary number we call it as imaginary number because it is not a real number okay it, it doesn't mean that it is it is imaginary by itself but because it is not on the real numbers line then we call it that imaginary number so and we call this alpha it is known as i or j
Okay, so it means that this, if you if you multiply any number, for example, 4, i, or, or 4, square root of minus 1, it means that you will rotate this number, 4, to be 90 degree, it will be here. It will be 4, i. If you multiply another with i, because square root of minus 1 times square root of minus 1 will be minus 1, then it will be rotated again to be minus 4. Okay, if you multiply it again with, with i, it will be here. It will be like 270 degree, like, like minus 4 i, and so on. Okay, so this is the basic from where it comes, this, um, uh, uh, this, num uh, this imaginary number, okay? And now let us go a little bit further about these complex numbers. So, um, if uh, one asks that uh, we know this two dimension, for example, if we talk about about uh, spatial dimensions and we have like x direction and y direction, so we can have like here ax, which means that it is unit vector in the direction of x and it has value, the, 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 the length of 1, but it has the direction of x, and we have a y, so it is unit vector in the direction of y, but it has, uh, uh, where its dimension is 1, but it, ha but it is only in dimension of, uh, in direction of, of y, and it is 90 degree or perpendicular to x. And now we can represent any point, any vector in this dimension with with uh, uh, related to ax and ay. For example, if this point is at four centimeters in direction of x and let's say three centimeters in direction of y, then this vector can could be represented as four in direction of x ax plus three in the direction of y. Okay. So if you ask what is the difference now between this one and complex numbers or complex uh, dimension, uh, dimension or, or uh, coordinates that we have here the real part and here we have the imaginary part and we have here 4 and we have th 3i so the point here can, could be represented like 4 plus 3i. What is the difference between, between 4, ax plus 3 ay or 4 plus 3 i actually uh, from like uh, calculations point of view if you want to make the calculations or add vectors or multiply vectors will be the same from calculations point of view but conceptually they are different because here when you talk about 4 plus 3 i for example here we talk about abstract numbers so we don't, uh, it can represent anything. It can represent, for example, dimensions like this one, okay, like vectors in spaces, but it can represent anything else. So this is very general. It can represent, for example, signals in frequency or whatever, okay? So in a frequency domain, we don't use a X and Y and Z, for example, because we can have also many, many different dimensions. Like we, we, we can have actually perpendicular coordinates like, like, like for example, sine x and cosine x, for example, they, those are perpendicular. Or, or the, the coordinates themselves could be time varying. The coordinates can be time varying in, uh, uh, for example, uh, sine xt and cosine xt, for example. And they are perpendicular in this case. Okay, so uh, when we talk about about uh, uh, complex numbers or complex plane, it is more general. So it it it, it is um, it came from numbers from abstract math, not applied math or not uh, not the application like like in two dimensional Cartesian space or whatever. So this is this is one thing that we should know. And uh, if we look to this four plus three i for example, this this point, okay. Maybe it is a little bit further here, up to fourth point. Okay, what is the angle theta here? The angle theta is the tan, you can see that tan theta equal to three divided by four. So it means that the angle theta is the tan inverse of three divided by four. Or generally, it is if we call that, for example, the real number like, like x, plus 3y, uh, sorry, uh, x plus 
y i so this is the real and this is the imaginary so in general theta equal to tan inverse of y divided by x okay and what is the length of this line so the length it is clear that it, it will be like 4 square plus 3 square or in general that the, under the square root so in general that the, uh, the, the length of the vector or of the line to the origin it will be square root of x square plus y square okay so this is for any complex number for any complex number that if we have any complex number in uh, the real part and this is the imaginary part and we have here x for example and y this will be i y then we will have the angle the angle here theta equal to tan inverse of y divided by x and the magnitude are the length equal to square root of x square plus y square okay now if you if you want to add two complex numbers together is very easy so if, for example if you have 2 plus i 5 plus uh, 1 minus i 3 so simply actually you add the real numbers together and the imaginary numbers together so it will be 2 plus 1 it will be 3 and plus j5 minus minus or plus i5 minus i3 it will be plus i2 so it is simply like that um what is the the uh, the multiplication and the division also it is very easy to find uh, generally the complex numbers for example x as we say that plus i y could be represented as magnitude r and angle theta and we said that r here is the uh, the length and theta is the angle as it is shown here so this is r equal uh, r the, the length and angle okay so uh, if you multiply two uh, complex numbers together for example uh, one complex number let's say that it is x1 plus i y1 times x2 plus i y2 assume that this one could be represented like r1 and angle theta1 and this one could be represented like r2 and angle theta2 the multiplication of these two two complex numbers it uh, like for example this is z1 and this is z2 so z1 times z2 it will be uh, if you want to represent them in face or uh, face or uh, uh, representation it will be like r1 times r2 and the angle will be added together so it will be theta1 plus theta2 so it means that when you multiply two complex numbers then the lengths of both of them will be enhanced or of course compressed it depends if the length is uh, both of them are greater than one or less than one but greater than zero so anyhow it will be always uh, uh, I mean uh, extension or or compression of uh, uh, of this multiplication okay and for the angle it will be rotation actually if uh, the angle for example if the first angle is by over 3 and the second angle is by over 2 so when you multiply two complex numbers together it will be rotated this by over 3 will be rotated by the the second angle for example by over 2 so always the multiplication means that multiplication of lengths okay multiplication of lengths and rotation of faces but li let us see how to multiply them uh, uh, directly like uh, like without this uh, 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 face of form so it can be like x1 plus i y1 times x2 plus i y2 when you multiply them together so you multiply x1 by x2 it will be x1 times x2 this will be plus i x2 times y1 okay and this will be i also uh, x1 times i2 times y2 and i times i equal to minus 1 and this will be y1 y2 so this result it is uh, clearly that it will be the real part will be x1 times x2 minus y1 times y2 this is the real part and the imaginary part will be because the same uh, this will be like i and we take here x1 y2 plus x2 y1 this will be 
a multiplication and actually this will give us the same concept like like this multiplication in phase form and magnitude phase form so um, uh, let us take numbers uh, to see how to do that so assume that 1 plus i uh, 2 times 1 plus or 2 let's say 2 plus i 3 okay so this will be 2 times 1 is 2 2 uh, and uh, i times i is minus 3 times 2 3 times 2 is 6 so it is 2 minus 6 this this will be the the real part and the imaginary part will be 2 times 2 this we put i here 2 times 2 is 4 okay and 3 times 1 is 3 so it will be plus 3 so this will be 2 minus 6 it will be minus 4 plus i 7 this will be the multiplication of two like complex numbers how to make the division so um, uh, if we have x1 plus i y1 divided by x2 plus i y2 again if we transfer uh, transfer this to the magnitude phase form so it will be like this one will be like r1 with phase theta1 divided by r2 with phase theta2 so it will be the same because r, this will be the magnitude will be r1 divided by r2 and the angles will be theta1 minus theta2 so it will be just just minus theta2 so it, it means that it is a rotation in the uh, uh, inverse direction or reverse direction rotation in the reverse uh, direction okay but how to solve it the, uh, without uh, transferring it to the face face magnitude or magnitude face uh, forum simply uh, one method is by multi multiplying uh, 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 it by the conjugate what is the conjugate the, con the conjugate of any uh, complex numbers for example assume that this is this is uh, uh, 4 and uh, i3 okay so this will be 4 plus i3 the conjugate is you change the sign of the imaginary path so it will be 4 minus i3 so it will be the same real number 4 but it will be in the minus i3 so this will be the number and this will be this one number okay so this is actually the 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 imaginary number together so it is clearly that if you if you uh, add any complex number with it with it is conjugate always the result will be the positive path because the imaginary part will will cancel each other so if you add this 4 plus i3 times 4 minus i3 the result will be 8 okay and the nice thing that also if you multiply them together so you will get always uh, a, a real number because it will be rotated in the different direction because that one it will be rotated with the same face but in the different direction so it will be in the real axis let us see so 4 plus i3 times 4 minus i3 so uh, now uh, it will be 4 times 4 is 16 okay and i times i is minus one but we have minus here it will be plus so three times three is nine so it is 25 this this is the the uh, the real part what is but about the imaginary part it will be plus i okay uh, three times four is 12 okay and minus three times four is minus 12 so this will be zero and then the result will be only 25 so the result will be again as um uh, uh, in a uh, uh, real real number okay and now if you want let's say that you want to divide 4 plus i3 divided by 2 minus i2 for example how to make this uh, calculation um, of course as i said you can make convert it to the uh, to the magnitude and phase and it, it becomes uh, very simple to solve or you can simply m multiply it by the conjugate so if you multiply the conjugate of of uh, 2 plus i2 this is the conjugate of it and we multiply above like 2 plus i2 so you can see that here that it is it is uh, we did nothing actually because we multiply and ab the, the above and the bottom by the same number the, the same complex number and now let us see so this one it will be only a real number 
it will be 4 times uh, uh, plus 4. So it will be like this one, 4. And this will be plus 4. So th this will be 8. Okay? So it will not uh, 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 change. It will not be changed. So it will be 2 times 2 is 2. It is 4. And minus i times plus i is equal to uh, uh, plus plus. The sign will be plus. 2 times 2 is another 4. So 4 plus 4 is 8. The imaginary part will be 0. Okay. What about, what about this one? So it will be 4 times 2. It will be 8. And then the imaginary part, it will be i times i is minus. 3 times 2 is 6. So it will be 8 minus 6. And this will be for the imaginary part, it will be plus i, it will be 3 times 2 is 6, and 2 plus uh, times 4 is 8, plus 8. So the result simply will be 8 minus 6 is 2, uh, plus i, 2 plus 8 is 14, and uh, uh, yeah, and then divided by, divided by 8. So it, simply it will be like 1 divided by 4 plus i, 7 divided by also 4. Yeah, this will be this, this, uh, uh, the, the, the computation of the division of the complex numbers. Okay, let us go to some interesting, another interesting uh, uh, forum. What if I asked you to find square root of, let's say, uh, 4 plus i3? How to find it? Again, the same idea, if you have it as a face of forum, like face, uh, like magnitude phase forum. So if, if I have this one as a r and angle theta, so the square root of r and angle theta simply it will be square root of r, and for the angle will be theta divided by two. Okay, it will be simply like that. But if you want to solve it yourself directly from this one without co this conversion, then simply assume that uh, this is the result of this one will be uh, will be x plus, let's say, i, y. Now, uh, uh, take the uh, square for both sides. Square for both sides, it will be 4 plus i, 3, it equal to x plus i, y square. Okay? And this will be x square minus y square. This will be the real part. And the imaginary part, it will be x times y, y times x will be the same. So it will be like plus 2i xy. So x square minus y square will be 4. This is the real part. Real part equals real part. Imaginary part equals imaginary part. So 2xy equal to 3. Now we have two equations into two unknowns. We have two equations into two unknowns. Then we can substitute in one of them in the other. So, for example, if we say that uh, uh, x uh, or y equal to uh, 3 divided by 2x, this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. And then if we, from equation 2, we can say that y equal to 3 divided by 2x and substitute this equation 3 into equation 1 then what, what we get is that it becomes x square uh, uh, minus y square is, is now uh, uh, 3 square is 9 divided by 4x square, okay, equal to 4. Yeah? Okay. Now, uh, what we can do here, we can multiply both equations by 4x square. So what we get here is 4 x of the power 4, okay, minus 9, equal to 4 times 4 is 16 x square. If I move this to the other side, then I will get here like 4 x of the power 4 minus 16 x square minus 9 equal to 0. Now I have uh, 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 one equation in one unknown, but it is of the power 4, uh, so uh, uh, we can actually put it in, in this uh, nice form, so uh, if we say that x square equal to alpha, okay, then here I will have 4 alpha square minus 16 alpha minus 9 equal to 0, this is second order equation, 
or polynomial we can solve it easily actually so we have here alpha equal to minus uh, the, 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 the coefficient of alpha it will be 16 it will be positive minus uh, uh, plus minus of course square root of this number 16 square minus 4 AC so it will be minus 4 times 4 times 9 times 9 but because here we have minus this will become plus okay and this will be divided by 2 by the coefficient of alpha square it will be divided by 8 okay so this this of course will be like alpha equal to 16 plus minus square root of I will I will use the calculator to to to, to compute uh, what is uh, uh, under under the square root yeah so this will be square root of 400 okay and this divided by 2 of course square root of 400 is 20 so then alpha equal to 16 plus minus 20 divided by 8 okay so now we have two solutions for alpha of course we we, we will not take the negative uh, 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 answer because negative answer here we know that that x square as we showed here x square equal to alpha which means that x equal to square root of alpha if alpha is negative then we will have imaginary number again so we don't we, we are not interested in that in that solution but here we can have the positive solution so it is 16 plus 20 divided by 8 so the the, the solution will be 20 36 divided by 8 and uh, and this will be 4.5 okay this will be 4.5 0.5. So now we found alpha, then we can find what is the value of x, and x in this what in, in, in this will be square root of 4.5. And this, if I use calculator to find it, so it will be it will be like okay. It will be 2.121. And also we can, from this we can calculate also what is the value of y. And uh, where, yes, you can you can use either equation 1 or equation 2 or equation 3. So if uh, actually equation 3 is already taken from equation 2. So we can, from equation 3, y equal to 3 divided by 2x. It means that y equal to 3 divided by 2 times 2.121. And this will be around point, uh, uh, seven one. okay so now we we found that so so the square root square root of uh where is it yeah so square root of four plus i3 equal to 2.121 plus i.71 this will be the result of this square root okay yes it's actually the same result you can also obtain it uh, if you uh, uh, convert this this uh, uh, 4 plus i3 into it is um, uh, magnitude phase form so it will be like 4 plus uh, this will be 5 and the angle here is will be uh, theta uh, theta is computed as tan inverse as we said 3 divided by 4 and then you can actually calculate uh, the, for example the square root of this number like square root of 5 times the real part will be cosine theta divided by 2 and the imaginary part will be plus i sine theta divided by 2 and actually this, this could be easily approved here for example we have 4 and 3 and you can say that this is okay so this is the line here okay and then we have this is theta okay now uh, we have uh, uh, this line r so the, what is the real part the real part will be r cosine theta it will be the real part the imaginary part will be r sine theta okay so this in general this is r cosine theta the projection of r in the in, in this real part the direction it will be the real part and the others the other 
but on the other side will be plus i r sine theta if you want to calculate the uh, the uh, the square root of this number the square root of this number simply will be square root of r cosine theta by 2 and plus i square root of r times sine theta divided by 2 if you want to take the third uh, 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 root for example um, um, this 4 plus i3 I want to see what is 1 over 3 root simply will be r of the power 1 over 3 cosine theta divided by 3 plus i r of the power th third sine theta divided by 3 and so on so it is actually straightforward easy to find Okay, now we have actually uh, this complex complex uh, uh, domain, which has the real part, and we have here imaginary part. So we can say that uh, if I have function like f of t, which is moving with time, plus i, uh, like uh, j of of t as well, and this uh, was like z of t. So now I have. Uh, object or uh, that moving in this complex complex domain or coordinates for example it can has any movement here in this domain okay it depends on how f of t and g of t are changing with time so at, at as time proceeding this this object will be moving according to f of t and j of t okay one symbol and straightforward one is saying that f of t is equal to cosine 2 by f t and j of t equal to sine 2 by f t so if you have this one like and this will be the real part the real part and this one will be the imaginary part if you have this one this is cosine and this is sine and you plot them and teach start to change then what you will get is a circle it will be perfect circle here that which which means that this point okay this point z z of t will will move within like closed circle as it is shown here if if both sine and cosine they have the same frequency if they have different frequency we will get different curvature with different shapes with different shapes that we can for example you you might get like 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 this shape for example or you can different kind of shapes that you can obtain by this movement okay so actually this is a very interesting topic this complex uh, complex uh, analysis it has many many applications and it is an extension for the coordinates of numbers this is from abstract math that when we we want to to to, to look more um, for more no, than numbers than the, the the real numbers then we go to this this coordinate which we call imaginary because we it is extended from the real one okay the same thing remember that the same thing that or the similar result you will obtain if you don't work in complex numbers but you want to to work in the, like uh, uh, in special uh, coordinates like that you have x direction and you have y direction in that in in, in that sense okay so co uh, complex numbers and vectors they are closely related to uh, uh, to each other from mathematical point of view uh, okay now let us um, um, extend this a little bit further assume that we have uh, okay uh, uh, let's say that we have uh, f uh, of t equal to cosine t and so, uh, and 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 j of t equal to sine t okay uh, and uh, uh, as we said that z of t equal to the real part is uh, sorry is f of t plus i j of t okay um yeah um you know that uh, um, you most probably heard about tyler series uh, uh tyler series is actually series exp expansion uh, of a function about a point so assume that um, uh, in general uh, for any f uh, of x for any 
in uh, uh, variable x, it could be represented like f of a plus uh, the, dif the first differentiation uh, of x at x equal to a, okay, times x minus a, plus the double differentiation of x with respect of x at x equal to a, times x minus a squared divided by 2 factorial, and so on. So it will be extended in this way. Now let us do it for this cosine and sine. So, uh, and let us ex expand cosine and sine around uh, zero. So it means that f of t, which is actually co equal to cosine t, uh, around zero, it will be cosine zero. Cosine zero is one, okay? A plus the differentiation of uh, uh, t here, the differentiation uh, uh, of cosine is minus sine, okay. But minus sine at at zero, sine zero is zero. So this will no, it will be plus zero, plus. Now the double differentiation, because now we have minus sine. The differentiation of sine is cosine, so it will be but but the, we have minus, so it will be minus, and cosine the differentiation uh, cosine zero is one, so it will be one divided by by two, two factorial. Okay, and it will be considered the same. Actually, it will be plus zero because the differentiation of cosine again is sine, and sine of zero is zero, so it will be plus zero. And then the next one will be minus minus will be plus, and it will be one divided by four factorial. Okay, and and so on. So it will be extended. But here, uh, uh, yeah, I forget here to uh, because x here is the same as t, so t minus zero is t. So we should have here t, and here we will have t of the power of four because t of the power of three is zero. And actually, this is t squared because here it should be t, and and this is will be zero, and uh, it will be in this way. So it will be minus minus uh, or plus zero, and it will be minus t of the power of six divided by six factorial. Uh, and so on okay so in general cosine t if we make this this extension this uh, uh, or Tyler series expansion it will be plus 1 minus t squared over 2 factorial plus t of the power 4 divided by 4 factorial minus t of the power 6 divided by 6 factorial plus t of the power 8 divided by 8 factorial. So it, we will have always the, 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 the even uh, li like power. Okay. What about sine? J of t is equal to sine t. So, so if we make the same, the same uh, Tyler expansion, but now for sine, so we start with sine. So sine 0 is 0. Okay. And then plus... Uh, the differentiation of sine is cosine. So it will be cosine t at t equal to zero. Time is what? Time is t. Okay. And then uh, the differentiation of cosine or the second differentiation will be sine. So it will be zero again. It will be sine zero is zero. Okay. And the differentiation again of the uh, uh, cosine, it will be because, uh, yeah, it will be minus, minus cosine, minus cosine, it will be like in this way, it will be minus uh, uh, t cube divided by 3 factorial. Why we have minus? Because actually, as, as I said, the differentiation of sine is cosine, okay? But this sine 0 is 0, actually, we don't have here. And cosine uh, uh, 1, uh, cosine 0 is 1 times t. And the differentiation of cosine is minus sine. Here we have minus sine t at t equal to zero. So sine zero is zero, so it becomes zero, but we, we still have minus. So the minus becomes here. And the, the differentiation of sine is cosine. And cosine zero is one times t cube divided by three factorial and the plus and so on. So the sine t could be expanded as t minus t cube divided by 3 factorial, okay? And plus t5 divided by 5 factorial minus t7 divided by 7 factorial 
plus and so on so we have the odd numbers for t here okay now let us see cosine t plus i sine t as it is given by z of t okay this equal to what okay now we have we have cosine here and we have here sine so let us add them together so I, I will have cosine t I start with one okay the second uh, let us take it in, in order so uh, because the second element here is t squared but the first element in sine is t but t but sine is multiplied with i with a complex number okay or the imaginary number then it becomes a plus a plus i t okay what about the second one the third one actually it will be here it will be t squared divided by 2 factorial so it becomes minus minus t squared divided by 2 factorial okay the third the power 3 or the order 3 will be as you can see it here it will be minus uh, th this one will be positive yes so and then the, the the next element will be uh, minus minus i t cube divided by 3 factorial okay and uh, uh, what about the even number t of the power 4 it will be plus t of the power 4 divided by 4 factorial it will be plus t of the power 4 divided by 4 factorial okay and the fifth order it will be also also plus it will be plus but multiplied by i t of the power 5 divided by 5 factorial and we continue in this way okay yes now let us see what is this what is this number if we look to e of the power i t we know from tyler expansion also that e of the power x will be 1 plus x squared plus x cubed divided by 3 factorial plus x of the power 4 divided by 4 factorial plus x of the power 5 divided by 5 factorial and so on this you can you can prove this very easily this e of the power x around x equal to 0 the Tylor series is in this way because if the power x is the only function that it is differentiation it will be the same so d divided by dx of e of x equal to e of the power x okay so now let us apply this here so e of the power i t equal to 1 plus here the element becomes x squared what is here it here is we have i t so i squared we know that i is square root of minus 1. So minus 1 square is equal to minus. Then this will be like minus. So it will be 1. The first is positive 1. Minus. Minus. And uh, 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 this will be uh, x. So this is x plus x squared divided by 2 factorial so on yes 1 plus x plus x squared divided by 2 factorial and so on so it, it will be 1 plus x x is i t a plus i t squared i squared is minus 1 so it becomes minus okay minus and t squared divided by 2 factorial then a plus this will be i i t of the power 3 i times i is minus 1 times i it becomes minus i t cube divided by 3 factorial and then we will have i t of the power 4 it will be i times i is minus 1 i times i is minus 1 minus 1 minus times minus 1 is plus 1 so it becomes a plus it will be t of the power 4 divided by 4 factorial and so on so if you look to this equation compared to this one actually we found that e of the power i t is nothing but cosine t plus i sine t and this is the proof actually of this uh, identity which is known as Euler identity okay that it can be approved simply by using Tyler uh, expansion Tyler expansion can approve this relation 
okay so this is actually fast and very basic or very uh, elementary uh, introduction like in, in high school uh, level of complex numbers so you should be familiar how to how can you use uh, uh, the complex numbers if you uh, face it for example in in, in, in course in some like uh, in the Fourier transform is based actually on this on, on this uh, uh, complex uh, uh, formulation because now we can a single frequency, as we mentioned in our course, the single frequency component is given as e of the, the power j 2 by f t. Okay, and actually, this one is representing like cosine 2 by f t plus j or i sine 2 by f t, which and this one is representing a circle, a point of a circle moving in, in, in two dimensional or in complex plane as it is shown here. Okay, the rotation, uh, the direction of rotation depends on that this one is positive or or negative. Okay, and actually, just I add the last statement here. Um, when we want to find the Fourier transform for any function, let's say we have x of t, and we want to find uh, it is Fourier transform. Um, how to do that? Before I, I I go to 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 this and to give you the concept why we uh, the Fourier transform has that form, uh, I I like to add something small. If you have two functions like x of t and j of t, and you want to check if j of t is uh, somehow exists in uh, x of t, or in other words, what is the similarity between j of t and x of t? Uh, um, uh, um, the measuring or measuring uh, process of this uh, similarity we call it as as cross correlation. So if you take the integration from minus infinity to infinity, x of t times j of t dt, okay. Actually, uh, uh, in this way we can make the, uh, uh, the 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 correlation function between j of t and x x of t. So this gives you the, the some measure of the similarity. Okay. So if this uh, uh, cross correlation equal to zero, then we, we 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 can say that x of t is orthogonal always on j of t, as as x uh, the time changing of x of t and j of t, all of them they are always orthogonal to each other. Okay. Because it gives us zero. Okay. If we have positive, it means that they are highly correlated. If they are negative, then they are anti correlated. Okay, it means that when x of t increasing, then j of t, for example, decreasing. Okay, and in general, the same way, if j of t is a small function, for example, is like it, it has certain shape, for example, within certain time, and uh, and now you can also make a scan to see where this shape is is repeated in this x of t. For example, if 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 uh, the, the result it gives us some spikes in some places, it means that j of t is very similar or it has high correlation with x of t at that places. Okay. Now, uh, if we say that j of t is e of the power j two by f t. Okay, now this this is a single in a frequency domain. This is a single frequency at f zero. It is at at f zero. We have a single frequency component. If we make this scan integration of x of t times e of the power j to pi f zero t for example. Okay, dt. Of course, it depends on the direction of frequency that you are looking for, minus or plus. Okay, so in that case, this one we call it, and and we integrate over the whole time t from minus infinity up to infinity. This gives us the function in the frequency domain, which means that it gives us the whole frequency f. This is okay. This is not f zero. We, we 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 keep it as f in general in the frequency domain. So it gives us the all the frequency components of that x of t. So by, by making this cross correlation between this single frequency component e to the power j two by f t by the function x of t, and usually this x of f is complex uh, uh, function. Usually it gives us complex function. Okay, which has magnitude and phase. Okay, so this is just a fast, very fast and primitive uh, uh, introduction to complex numbers. Thank you.